Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a real quick video on five things that I think all heating and air companies or contractors should be offering you and a lot of them don't. These might be some things that while you're deciding who you want to choose to do your next heating and air repair, maybe you can use these five things to decide if you will use them or not. Number one, portable ACs or space heaters. As we move into a time where a lot of folks have to wait on parts. It used to be I could keep parts on my truck and get just about anyone going in the middle of the night, but unfortunately those days have ended or are at least ending because as more and more technologies come out, the likelihood of us being able to keep a few motors on our truck, universal rescue motors, something to get the folks going in the middle of the night. Now there's hundreds of different types of motors, variable speed, ECM, all kinds of different motors. And it seems like every system has their own type of motor. And that's just one example. There's all kinds of parts that you may need to order and the customer at times may be waiting quite a bit of time without AC or heat. So at Griffin Air, anyone that's a part of our VIP club, anyone that's gonna have to wait a while for that part, we're going to offer them a portable AC or a space heater, depending on the season, to get them through. It's just good customer service and it helps them not be so unhappy while waiting for that part. Number two, financing. It's surprising to me how many contractors today don't have some form of financing for their customers when they're buying a heating and air system. I know there are some markets where you have to have financing and then some markets, depending on the demographic and the customer, where folks don't finance so much. One of the problems with financing that we've talked about in other videos is how a lot of financing companies have dealer fees and all kinds of other fees where they're either gouging the contractor or the customer themselves. And more times than not, if there is some sort of fees to the contractor, they are building it into their price and having to raise their pricing for all customers, even ones that pay cash, just to be able to offer financing. We have fixed that problem, by the way. So if you are dealing with a heating and air company that does not offer financing or you're not happy with their fees or anything like that, you can go over to newhvacguide.com, scroll all the way to the bottom and click financing. We've got a portal there that you can click and put your info in and receive approval within minutes. And we offer all kinds of different financing options. So definitely check that out if you are thinking about getting financing for your next heating and air system. The cool thing is you don't just have to use one of our loans at New HVAC Guide for HVAC. They provide loans for any home projects up to $100,000. Number three, easier ways for their customers to pay connect and find out more about that heating and air business. So first of all, when it comes to paying, there's all kinds of software out there now that heating and air contractors can use with a simple email. It allows the customer just to click on a link and they can pay their bill right then. Or we're starting to see other ways that folks pay like Venmo and PayPal and Zelle is another one that came out a few years ago. Just easier ways for your customers to be able to pay you. The easier it is, maybe the more likely they will use you again, right? But also connecting with you, of course there's social media, there's also blogs, there's websites and things like that. Just different ways that customers can find out more about the company and be able to connect with them. I have customers all the time that they'll say, man, I already, I feel like I already know you. I feel like I already know your project manager or one of your lead techs because of things that we're putting on our social media or our website, they already feel like they know them. Number four, maintenance clubs. I think this is probably a given. Most good heating and air contractors do offer some sort of maintenance program. We call it a VIP club at Griffin Air, but everybody calls them different things. Savings club, savings family, I've heard some companies call it total care club, whatever it is they call it. Having a way that your customers can get maintenance, get discounts, connect with your company in that way and have a little bit of exclusivity over some customer that just calls out of the blue. Some companies even offer priority scheduling and things like that. So there's all kinds of perks that you can offer. You can also offer extended warranties and I think it just helps customers knowing that things are gonna get taken care of, knowing that when it's time to get their maintenance done, that the heating and air contractor is gonna be in touch and all that good stuff. And then finally, number five, I think all heating and air businesses should have a way for customers to get more information, whether it be just a page on your website, if you're trying to sell them a certain product, have that product on your website. 
have a blog post, do a YouTube video, whatever it is you need to do, but having a way that customers can get more information when they're trying to decide whether they're making a good choice buying a certain product or choosing you as their heating and air company of choice. And you might say, well, Josh, there's already tons of websites and blogs and YouTube videos out there. I don't want to do all of that. I think there's already plenty. I can tell you at Griffin Air, there is something to be said for our customers knowing that you know, when they learned something, they were able to hear it from someone they trust, someone that was able to give them the information they were looking for, and they don't have to shop around and figure it out and all that good stuff. It gives you a chance to really talk to your customer directly, get on your soapbox for a minute, and really give them the information that helps them so they can make an informed decision. Have any more tips or things that heating and air companies should be offering? Please comment down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.